this problem, we want to solve this equation. So we got uh, 3x to the third minus 13x squared plus 13x minus 3 is equal to 0. They tell us one third is a root. Okay, solve it. That means find our answers. Um, the fundamental theorem of algebra says your largest power tells you how many answers you're going to have. We've got third power, so we're going to have three answers. Now, another word for answers is zeros, so we're wanting to find the zeros. Another, another word is root. So when they tell us one-third is a root, they're telling us our first answer. They're telling us that x is equal to one-third. Well, we want to take that and we'll plug that into synthetic division. So I'll take that one-third, put it in a box in the upper left-hand corner. Our largest power is x to the third, so I'm going to write x to the third, x squared, x, and no x across the top. Now, the number in front of our x to the third is 3. The number in front of our x squared is negative 13. The x is 13, and the no x, a constant term, is negative 3. Now, we want to go through a series of adding, multiplying over and over until we're done. We start with our first column here. 3 plus nothing is 3. We always multiply by a number in a box, by a number we just put down there. 1 third times 3 gives us 1. Then want to add. Negative 13 and 1 is negative 12. Then multiply. Multiply by a number in a box, by a number we just put down there. 1 third times negative 12 gives you a negative 4. Add. 13 minus 4 gives us 9. Multiply. Always multiply by a number in a box, by a number you put down there. 1 third times 9 is 3 and add negative 3 plus 3 gives us 0. Now again, if you get a 0 as a remainder, that means you found an answer. So you found an answer. Now that is no problem, no, um, it's too late <laughs> at night. <laughs> That's no uh, mystery, um, because they told us it's an answer. They said it's a root, which means we found, we, they told us it's an answer to begin with. Well, this is x to the third, this would be one degree lower, so this is x squared, this is x, and this is no x. So we're going to be left with 3x squared minus 12x plus 9 is equal to 0. Why do I set it equal to 0? Because we're solving it, we're finding the zeros, so you always set it equal to 0. Well, I notice right away they have a GCF in common, they're all divisible by 3. So I'll factor that out, and that gives us x squared minus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Now look at what's inside the parentheses, this is the PSD method. We have x squared x, no x, no number in front of our x squared. So this factors as x minus 1 times x minus 3 equal to 0. Zero factor property. You get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. Now we don't need to set the 3 equal to 0 because there's no variable there to solve for. But I'll set the x minus 1 equal to 0, and I'll set the x minus 3 equal to 0. And then we solve those, we get x equals 1 and x is equal to 3. Now our largest power was a third power, it means we had three answers. They gave us one of the answers, this one third. And then we use that to get our other two answers. So that counts for all three answers.